<laughs> you want to that right now? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Jerry. And I'm Gideon. And today, our producer has challenges to turn this Popeye's chicken sandwich into a sweet dessert. Our friend Tucker is gonna come in, try our dishes. And then we're gonna try to have him guess what the original dish was. Are you ready for the challenge, kids, kids? Always. Let's do it. Let's do it. So my game plan is I'm going to turn this into a maple bacon donut. First things first, I'm going to be saving this mayo for our white chocolate ganache. Now I'm going to tear these buns apart. Now we're going to toast these and we're going to grind it and turn them into breadcrumbs. And by toasting these, it actually intensifies the flavor of the bread because it gets rid of the water and it's going to enhance the flavor of our donut. All right, now that our buns are nice and toasted and it's cooled down, now we're going to make fine breadcrumbs. All right, now this looks perfect, and we're gonna use this for a donut batter. So after seeing the Popeye sandwich, I think I'm going to make a strawberry balsamic cupcake. So to kick things off, I'm going to first add the sour cream, some milk, and vanilla, and then give this a really quick whisk just to incorporate all of the ingredients. And once that's all mixed, I'm gonna take the bun and then break it up into little pieces first. And then I'm gonna use a fork to really, really get it into the wet ingredients. This is my first time turning a savory dish into a sweet dish. And I'm really curious to know what Gideon's doing, but honestly, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. And then from here, I'm gonna move on to my dry ingredients. Now we're going to make the candied pickles. But first things first, we gotta rinse it. All we have to do is mix water, sugar, and once that's mixed, then we'll toss the pickles. So we're just gonna let this sit until it becomes like a super light brown. Then we take it out. These look great. We're gonna let this set for about 10 minutes so that they harden. Hopefully Tucker doesn't think it's too weird because I wanna win. I'm going to mix into my cake flour some baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And then from there, I'm just gonna give this a really good whisk just to make sure all of the dry ingredients are well incorporated. Then I'm going to move on to creaming my butter and whip that on high for two minutes until it's creamy, light, and fluffy. About now, I'm going to add the sugar and then beat that for another two minutes until it's nice, incorporated, super fluffy. All right, things are looking good in here. We're going to add three egg whites to the sugar mixture. This is looking so good. I'm going to add my burger mixture to these wet ingredients here. The last step is to add my dry ingredients to this. Give it one last mix and we're good to go with the batter. This is looking beautiful. And I'm going to fill these just about three quarters of the way up. I'm going to bake these until they're nice and puffy or when a toothpick inserted comes out clean. All right, now we're going to make our dough. First, we're going to mix our wet ingredients, which is buttermilk three egg yolks, one whole egg, grapeseed oil, and lemon zest. We're gonna whisk it. Now for our dry ingredients, cake flour, sugar. Now the breadcrumbs that we made, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Now I'm gonna mix it for a couple seconds to mix the dry ingredients. We're gonna slowly add our wet ingredients. So we're gonna keep mixing this until it's well combined. It's gonna be sticky, but once it's chilled, it's gonna be easy to work with. Now it's time to roll our dough. I have this baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm a little worried because I'm not that experienced in making donuts. We shall see. Okay, since it's very sticky, we're gonna use another parchment paper. So we're gonna roll this to about half an inch thick. And we're going to chill this for about 30 to 60 minutes. Hopefully it'll be easier to work by then once it's nicely chilled. So for this next part of the cupcake, I'm going to be taking the fried chicken and then create a crispy chicken buttercream frosting. Now I know that sounds super wacky, but just hold tight. It's gonna be amazing. So here I'm just going to remove the batter and try to keep the actual chicken part intact. All right, now look at that. Beautiful. I'm gonna be setting this aside and then transfer this over to my prepared baking sheet. And then I'm going to just pop this in the oven just for a little bit, just so I can dry it out a little bit more to get it super crispy. So in my next step, I am going to give this a really good chop and get the pieces nice and fine. Listen to that crunch. You know, Gideon's my boy. He is the crispy chicken king. But you know what? I'm bringing my game. I'm bringing my game. We're gonna move on to assembling the rest of the buttercream. So starting off, I'm going going to first cream the butter. And here we have the mayo from the chicken sandwich. And that is a lot of mayo. This is so wacky because I've never added mayo, but I'm super excited to see how it's gonna turn out. I'm curious to know how Tucker's going to feel about having mayo in his buttercream frosting. And I don't know if I wanna tell him. I'm going to whip this on medium high until it's light and creamy and fluffy. This is looking beautiful. So we have some vanilla some heavy cream, and then finally some powdered sugar. So I'm gonna need about four cups of this, but I'm gonna add it in little batches just so it doesn't get messy in here. Ooh. 
All right. Okay, it's looking beautiful. The last step is adding the super crispy chicken breading to the frosting. I'm just gonna mix this until the breading is well incorporated into the frosting. So this last step is transferring it to a piping bag, and then I'm gonna set it aside for later. Now that our dough has been nice and chilled and it's easy to work with, we can start cutting them. I'm gonna sprinkle some flour. I'm gonna spray the baking sheet with just some oil. Now we have our donut cutter. I'm gonna dip that into the flour. Oh, there we go. That's nice. I'm just gonna push it out with my finger, nice and gently. We're just gonna let this chill for 30 minutes, then we start frying. About a minute and a half per side until it's golden brown. Then we're gonna turn them. All right. Now I'm just gonna fry up the rest. Chicken floss. I'm not gonna lie, I am taking a huge risk with this. I've had pork floss. I've even had fish floss, but I've never made my own. So I'm going to rinse this under warm water just to remove any excess grease. So now that I rinsed my Popeye's chicken, I'm going to add the raw chicken breast along with the Popeye's chicken together along with some water and poach it. So the chicken has been cooking for about 25 minutes. It's time to shred it. So I've transferred the chicken over to this tray, but I want to hold on to this liquid for later. The chicken has cooled for a few minutes. I wonder if Tucker is going to be like, what is that? What? All right, y'all, chicken is fully shredded. I'm going to add it back to the reserved liquid along with some salt and sugar and then reduce that. So I'm cook this on high heat for 15 minutes until the pot is completely dried out. Look at what I've created. This is straight chicken floss. Oh my gosh. Okay, now it's time to make the ganache. All we're gonna do is mix heavy cream, the mayo we saved earlier, and white chocolate. We're just gonna mix this. And we're gonna microwave this on high in 20 to 30 second intervals until the chocolate's melted. Now for the chicken, we're gonna cut this into thin strips. We're just gonna toss maple syrup and brown sugar until they're coated evenly. So we're gonna bake this for about three minutes per side until it's nice and caramelized and look like bacon. The Popeye's chicken sandwich has bread and butter pickles. So what I'm going to do is turn it into a strawberry jam. To a saucepan, I'm going to add some cut up strawberries. I chopped up these bread and butter pickles from the sandwich, some sugar, and lastly, balsamic vinegar. I know you're probably like, are you serious? Balsamic vinegar, pickles, strawberries. Strangely enough, it's like a happy marriage of all of these ingredients, I promise. Next step, I'm going to make balsamic strawberries. So I hope Tucker likes strawberries because it's like strawberries on strawberries on strawberries with fried chicken. I'm going to add strawberries, sugar, balsamic vinegar, and lastly, corn syrup. So I'm gonna mash up the strawberries just a little bit and this will really help release some of the juices. I'm gonna use this immersion blender and just blend it until it's smooth. Look at that, just look at that, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna let this cool for about 15 minutes. My strawberry glaze is completely cooled. Now I'm gonna take the raw strawberries, dip them in the glaze and then let them rest here on this rack just to let any excess glaze kind of drip to the bottom. I'm gonna set these to the side for 30 minutes and then we are ready to assemble the cupcake. Now we have our Popeye's chicken bacon, candied pickles, mayonnaise ganache, and burger bun donut. It's time for assembly. I'm gonna dip our donut in the ganache. Now we're just gonna garnish it with our chicken bacon and our candied pickles. Now here we have it, our Popeye's chicken sandwich donut. Now I'm gonna finish decorating the rest because why should Tucker be the only one to taste this? We have our burger bun cupcakes, our bread and butter pickle and strawberry jam, our chicken floss, our crispy chicken mayo buttercream, and last but certainly not least, we have our beautiful Sheeny strawberry balsamic garnish. So I'm just gonna give it just a little, little insert right there. And then next, I am going to get my crispy chicken mayo buttercream. Look at this, it's just, it's beautiful. Then we have these beautiful balsamic glazed strawberries. I am most proud of this last step. Just the tease for Gideon to let him know that I won this, I won this. Tucker is gonna choose this baby right here. This is for you. This one looks like it has rope on top. Is this rope edible? Okay, and then here we have, oh my gosh, a pickle sliced so thinly I can see through it. I trust both of these chefs with my life. So I'm just gonna go really in hard. <sighs> okay, am I getting cream cheese frosting? Am I getting cream cheese frosting? This thing is gonna be the key to me figuring this out. I, I don't think I'm mad at it. I don't think I'd take a bullet for it either. We're gonna let that marinate while I come over to this bad boy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm getting like chicken and waffles. What was that pickle there? Mm, okay. I wonder if Tucker's going to be like, what is that? What? What? They're both breakfasty. This is like your classic waffle with the syrup. But this one is you went to IHOP and you said, give me that tutti frutti fresh and fruity. Oh my gosh, this is really hard, isn't it? Chefs, please come in. Okay. Hello. Hey. Hello. What's happening here? I'm dying to know who's the winner. Okay, this is extremely hard. Oh, and I think I have to go with this one only because, only because I love that jerky crunch okay. with okay. this. 
I think I'm giving it to Gideon. What is the dish? Before we reveal one last guess of the original dish. I'm saying fried chicken and waffles. Give it to me, Gids. Hello. <laughs> a Popeye's chicken sandwich. 100. You are lying to me right now, really. Never have I ever had one. A hot dog. I would order both of your things again, 100%. And that buttercream that you had was like a crispy chicken skin and mayonnaise. Why did I lap that I up mean, like a still, dog? Like, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't want that Thank you for watching from Savory to Sweet. And if there are any savory foods that you want us to turn into sweet treats, let us know in the comments. I have one. Crunchwrap Supreme. Just That's an idea. Good. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much.